An illegal practice by nursing homes is now being investigated by the Ministry of Health as it has reportedly been causing havoc in the public health se sector. They're said to be dumping their clients in lieu of payments at other facilities. We spoke with Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton at the opening of the new elevator at the Spanish Town Hospital in St. Catherine. How do nursing homes ensure that they are paid for the care and the treatment they provide to their occupants? According to Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton, these homes have started to use an unconventional and illegal practice to penalize delinquent customers. They just pick them up and carry them and drop them off at the accident and emergency and leave them. So their response to non-payment of fees is to have the hospital become the holding area for those persons. That can't be right. He says two nursing homes in Spanish Town are now being investigated because of such cases. So the same nursing home that is transporting and dropping off people here for you to look after them. Then when others come here who really need the service and can't get it because they're in a bed and you have 20 people waiting on a bed, then people hit the social media and start to talk how bad and wicked Spanish Town Hospital is, how wicked the government is and that the government not responding. According to the minister, some of the deplorable conditions and long waiting times that other individuals have to endure when they visit the hospitals are caused by these social cases as these individuals occupy spaces and consume resources that could be allocated to other patients. When these social cases occupy a bed, up to 50 persons are denied access within a given year for every one social case for a year in a hospital. And that is what contributes to the long waits for beds persons who oftentimes coming to media sitting on chairs waiting for a bed there is someone occupying that bed who takes up that space he says a few private homes are also being investigated for the same issue and so the ministry is now taking action to nip the practice in the bud we're going to be pursuing through public education through moral suasion but if necessary through the law to deal with some of these issues because we think it's unfair to the hospital and public health and to those who really need the services in the hospitals. 